go and check out our homepage creativehome.com. You can go on the shop and take a look at our hand-drawn posters. New posters are added every couple of days. And if you like, you can also click on textures and Photoshop files, which are on Gumroad, and you can download them for free. Hello Internet, we start with our SketchUp model. You can download this for free. Just check the description of the video. Go um, to camera and then choose parallel projection to have an isometric view. And then you can also go to camera again, standard views and then choose ISO. So you always have the same angle of the camera. Then go to view, edge style and make sure edges are deactivated. So you don't see them anymore. You can also click on use sun for shading in the shadows menu. And then we can export the first image of three images we need to edit the diagram in Photoshop. Go to File, Export to D graphic, make sure you choose JPEG and make sure you check the options so you have a big resolution and best quality and um, choose the same options while exporting all of the three images. In the next step we going to export the shadows only. Go to View, Activate the shadows. Go to view again and then make sure you have the hidden lines activated at face star. Go to view a third time, deactivate the edges and then go to file again, export and export the JPEG just the way we exported it before with the same options, same resolution. And after that we need a third image just to make a selection in Photoshop. Now, after that we can delete that image, deactivate the shadows, go to edge styles, activate the edges and then we export this line work or line outlines, whatever you call it, only again as a 2D graphic, as a JPEG, same resolution, same options again. And then we will continue in Photoshop. I open Photoshop and use the main image as our base and then I drag the line out image on top of it and I press Ctrl and J to duplicate the background layer, the main image and then I go on to B, uh, W which is the magic wand and then I select all the white stuff around the line out image, go back on the layer with the background and then press delete so we delete all the white area around our building. I can delete the layer now and then I put the shadow layer inside of Photoshop. Make sure you put it into the layer style multiply, play around with the opacity and then our building with the shadows is basically done. Then I create a new layer to create a new background here. I just fill it with some gray color. Then I press C for cropping and I make the whole image a little bit bigger and then I fill the transparent stuff there with some more gray color. I create a new layer on top of the gray background layer and I press M for the rectangular tool and I create a rectangle there which is parallel to the right and left side walls of our building and then I fill it with G that's the fill bucket with some greenish or turquoise color here and I select some stuff which is visible in the windows there and then I try to play around with the size of this green thing here. Ctrl and T for transforming, holding down shift so you transform the stuff only in one or two directions. I create another layer on top and then I'm pressing on the bucket or I 
gonna change to the gradient tool and then I choose a simple black and white gradient on top of the green background there and then I switch the layer style to I guess multiply or soft light something which looks good yeah probably soft light play around with the opacity if you want to and then you have a little gradient there I add another layer on top of everything just pull it down underneath our shadows and I will add some people and trees I use the creative foam people and tree brushes which you can also download for free it's an ABR file so you can install it in Photoshop if you like to I choose some of the men and women there and I play around with the size and the opacity until I have my desired size and opacity of the people and add them with just one click because it's basically a brush yeah I was struggling here by the way you can have the PSD in the Photoshop file for free if you like with all the layers just check the link in the video description you can download this on Gumroad and if you like to um, you can give one dollar or maybe more if you want to but you don't have to it's for free so the ABR files come with the whole package too and also all the single images if you want to start from scratch and also the SketchUp model and you will also find the SketchUp model in the 3D warehouse from Trimble um, just type in creative foam or 110 building because that's the, the name of the file After adding people I add a tree it's the same ABR file the same Photoshop brushes that you can download for free I choose the tree number three and uh, it won't work with the green color here because the background is green so play around with some white color lower down the opacity but this doesn't look so nice so I try it with black color and this looks way better than before I make it a little bit smaller and add in the tree with just one simple click Then I press on C for cropping and I just resize the whole image because it's a little bit too wide and a little bit too tall. So I push down the shift button to resize it simultaneously on both edges and then you can press also ALT to make it on all four sides if you like to then I try to play around with the background make it black make it white I guess um, and I wasn't quite satisfied here so at the end I just added a concrete texture in the background and I stuck with the concrete texture
So the last thing I did here was creating a contour line around our building. Click on the building, go to the filling options there and there you find the contour line. Make sure the position is on outside. Play around with the size a little bit. I think the white stuff here looks quite great but I just wanted to see how a black contour line will look like. This also looks great but I think the white bigger outline or contour line looks better so I go back to the white option. Yeah, and that's basically everything our diagram is finished this is the finished image and as I said you can download this for free. Thanks for watching have a great day and stay creative.